Hi and welcome to the Cult TV Sofa. This is a reaction video for the seventh episode of season two of Buffy the Vampire Slayer called Lie to Me. Last time we saw the owner of a costume shop called Ethan put a spell or curse on the costumes he rented to the town for Halloween. The wearer became the costume they wore. Buffy was dressed as a 1700s noble lady, Xander was a soldier and Willow was a ghost, but neither Buffy or Xander had any memory of who they were. Whilst investigating what had happened, we discovered that Giles and Ethan knew each other in the past. Ethan implies that Giles has a hidden bad past, and Giles beats the information on stopping the spell out of Ethan, which is a bit of a surprise. The spell is reversed, just before Spike was about to bite Buffy. Her memory returns and Spike retreats, justifiably. So let's see what happens in this episode. I'm going to put any relevant trivia that I find over here. And at the end of the reaction I'll be discussing what happened and my thoughts about it all. And I'm going to start it in 3, 2, 1. Oh, Mom. She's always late. Oh yeah, let's just leave a young kid on his own in a creepy playground at night on his own. My mom's just supposed to pick me up as off. Oh god. She want me to walk you home? No. No thank you. Wise kid. What will your mummy sing when they find your body? Oh my god. It's just... Run home. Well, even that's a bit dodgy though, him running home on his own. But probably a little bit safer than where he is at the moment. My angel. My angel. Hello, Drusilla. Mm -hmm. This can't go on, Drusilla. It's got to end. Oh, no, my pet. This is just the beginning. Did she know Buffy was watching? And he's normally quite intuitive, knowing that she's around, so it's surprising that he didn't know she was watching either. So we knew that Spike... An angel knew each other. I didn't think about whether Drusilla knew him. That'll be a yes. Oh, and it sounds like he knew his mother, so they knew each other a long time ago. Maybe even when they were both human. Unless she became a, her mother became a vampire and sang her tunes as a vampire. It's a secret. What kind of a secret? Uh, the kind that's secret. No, we haven't seen it for a while. I think it's customary that when two people are going out of an evening that they, they both have an idea of where they're going. Really? How will I know what to wear? <laughs> Do you own anything else? <laughs> I was thinking that. Okay, tomorrow night, 7.30, right? Yes. You can't go, you've got Slayer practice. Yes, well, that's a very interesting perspective. Um, would anyone else like to comment? <laughs> oh, she hasn't met Drusilla yet. Ford? Hey, Summers. How you been? Oh, my God, what are you doing here? Uh, matriculating. We only went to school together for seven years. Kind of nice if you move into a new school to have at least someone there you know. Makes it a little bit easier. As long as you like that person. Oh, so does he know about what happened at the previous school? About the burning down of the uh, gymnasium, wasn't it? Hey. That's Angel. He's Buffy's beau. He looks older than him. <laughs> Just a smidge. This is Ford. We went to school together in LA. So is she going to use Ford as a rebound kind of thing? I'm a little hot. Do you want to take a walk? That'd be a yeah. Make him jealous. What's going on? What's going on? You just saw all that. I thought you were just slaying a vampire. Oh. Said he found that right before I got booted from Henry. I don't have to constantly worry that he's going to find out my dark secret. True. Hmm, well, I've got a feeling this is bad. He's turned up, he knows she's the Slayer. And he's going into a... a metal locked door. That's a heavy duty locked door. What? So is he a... is he a vampire? We saw him in daylight, though. A couple more days and we'll get to do the two things every American teen should have the chance to do. Die young. And stay pretty. So they're vampire wannabes. 
they want to become vampires. So were they all human in that place? I want you to track someone down on the net. Okay, what's the name? Billy Fordham. Oh, that's awkward. Are you going to tell me that I'm jealous? And that's unfair for him to put her in the middle. And my gut tells me this is a wrong guy. Okay. Well, he's not wrong. But if there isn't anything weird... Hey, that's weird. <laughs> I just checked the school records and he's not in them. Not a transfer, he's just turned up. I was going to pause a second because there's a lot of stuff going through my head now. So, this guy, Billy, has turned up. He knew she was the Slayer before he got there, so he's got a purpose for her. I can't think of what it is, though. It looks like all the... Uh, they seem to be all kids. Young adults, let's say, at least. All the people in that room, club, I'm assuming are vampire wannabes. They had all the films on. It's probably like the romance of being a vampire. Um, but why would they want Buffy? I can't think at the moment um, why they need her. But he's obviously he's not transferred. He's not in school. His one aim is to become a vampire. So he's given up his life by the looks of it. Travelled to Sunnydale, which let's face it is home of the vampires. Uh, it's a good place as any to to do it. Um, yeah. Okay. So I, I can't work out what the plan is yet, but uh, I'm sure we'll see. Stay close to me. I wouldn't want him anywhere near. He's untrained, doesn't know how to deal with it. You got one chance to live. Tell me what I want to know and I'll let you go. Where's the other one? I killed her. So did he kill her? Or did she give him information and she went away? He let her go. I'm going to say let her go. We're friends of Ford's. I don't think they're going to fit in. Well, Angel might. We blend right in. In no way do we stick out like sun yeah. thumbs. Let's look around. They who walk with the night are not interested in harming anyone. They have no idea. It, like I said, it's the romance of being a vampire. They don't know the truth and the realism of it. These people don't know anything about vampires. What they are, how they live, <laughs> how they dress. <laughs> That guy had an idea. Sorry to beep you guys in the middle of oh. stuff, but it seemed really weird. No, you did the right thing. Interrupted the day. I've always been interested in, in uh, monster trucks. <laughs> you took him to monster trucks? I thought it would be a change. I can't think of a worse match. <laughs> Childs and monster trucks. <laughs> well, one of them's called Bigfoot, so that might have interested him. Who's this? Um, she's called Drusilla. I saw her with Angel. That's a photo of her. I assume vampires don't show up in photos, so that's a picture of her as a human. Uh, my own research has... <gasps> what does she take? It took one of my books. Well, it was someone in the school was reading. <laughs> he said he killed it. Oh. Of well, course, she's good at recognising them. I would totally live here. That's a bad move. That's a stupid thing to do. Well, didn't we finally find a restaurant that delivers? <laughs> so she got the book for Spike. What book? It's a book with information about the Slayer, which he can use to his advantage. I'm offering you a trade. Buffy. You make me a vampire, and I'll give you the Slayer. Nice guy. That's why he wants Buffy. Buffy, may I come in? And once you've been invited, you could always just walk in. You've been polite. Yeah. I was just being polite. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. That was a nice scene. Nice, well, nice bit. We found this address. We checked oh, it out with Xander, don't... and it turned out. And Xander. Oh, don't drop them in it. Who's Drusilla? And don't lie to me. I'm tired of it. Some lies are necessary. She knows you've got a bad history. I might as well tell her stuff. 
She was pure, sweet, chaste. First, I made her insane. Good job with that, Killed by the everybody way. she loved. Visited every mental torture on her I could devise. He made her the way she is. She eventually fled to a convent. And on the day she took her holy orders, I turned her into a demon. Oof. Yeah, that's bad. Well, you wanted to know. I asked for the truth. You did. Let's <laughs> go pause a sec. So, Angel, Mage Drusilla, the way she is, and let's face it, she's a little unhinged, um, killed all her family, and turned into a vampire. It's no wonder they got a connection. She see she wasn't angry with him. Is it kind of like a Stockholm syndrome kind of thing? Um, with Drusilla and, and Angel. Wow, that's a bit harsh. Can you meet me here? Sure. At nine. At nine. Is that what that big metal doors for that club? Lure her in there, lock the door, and sort of trap her. When Angel came to my room, he was just really concerned for you, and we didn't want to say anything in case we were wrong. They weren't wrong. It was unfair of Angel to put them in the middle of all this. It's going to be fine. No. Why do you need them? It's really not. <laughs> Everybody lies. Not everyone manipulates, though. You are going to offer them a trade. I don't think I want to talk anymore. <laughs> yeah, well, I still feel awfully chatty. You were going to give them me tonight. I don't know I'd figure it out. Actually, I was counting on it. The door is for her and she's there. She's in the trap. Rigged up special. It can't be opened. But once it's closed, it can only be opened from the outside. This is the end, Buffy. No one gets out of here alive. You're not wrong. Right after the sun goes down, Spike and all of his friends are going to be picking out at the all-you-can-eat moron <laughs> bar. Okay. <laughs> all-you-can-eat moron bar. These people aren't going to get changed, are they? The rest of them, they're just fodder. Technically, Part of the yes. Deal. But I'm in. You're trusting Spike. You die. And a demon sets up shop in your old house, and it walks, and it talks, and it remembers your life, but it's not you. I got maybe six months left, and by then, what they bury won't even look like me. I can understand why, well, why he'd want to go through with it. It's another thing to kill other people, get the people killed for it. Did I screw up your righteous anger, Riff? Does the nest of tumors liquefying my brain kind of spoil the fun? Die as a human or live as a vampire. But like she said, it's not him as a vampire, as a demon. You know what, Summers? I really did miss you. So much, he lured you into a trap to get you killed. Nice guy. Dinner is served. Reality bites. <laughs> Literally. Ha ha! Ha ha! Everybody stop! She means a lot. Let them go. Whoa, she does mean a lot to him. Shut the door. Um, where's the door now? <laughs> are just in time. Well, no. Ten minutes earlier would have been good. We can come back when they're gone. Come back for what? For the body. Oh, he's still in there. What happened? You're about to die a really horrible death. I delivered. I handed her to you. But not the snacks. What about my reward? I would have thought to be, uh... Less body parts. 
It's just like the more I know, the more confused I get. Does it ever get easy? <laughs> Yeah. Was that him? I, I'm. I, it must have been. I'm not completely sure. Was that him at the end? Um, he did actually become a vampire. Um, <laughs> immediately died. It must have been him. She took the flowers there. I just couldn't tell because the makeup. That was a really good episode. Really liked that one. I can believe that there would be a group. I mean, there's people now. I think that. Um, Revere vampires. Um, so it's not a stretch that there would be a group of people like that who would want to become vampires. So they they were watching the films, they were seeing, you know, how Hollywood portrays the vampire and their their life, uh, not the reality of it. Um I I like the twist that he was dying that kind of uh, a few pieces made more sense then it kind of yeah the story made more sense that being the case obviously doesn't justify what he did I mean if it was just him that's one thing um, but to bring you know to, to sacrifice the slayer sacrifice all those other people for him that that was obviously the wrong part um yeah so it, it's sad in a lot of ways um that obviously he didn't want to die and he i assume he didn't want to you know he he got his um diagnosis realized found out he was going to die and then remembered buffy he he knew she was the slayer before she left the school so he's, he's known for a long time so when he found out he was going to die he thought of Buffy, thought of vampires and then that kind of that formed the whole plan probably so her being the slayer sort of sparked it all off really if he hadn't known that she was the slayer and hadn't known about vampires obviously none of that would have happened so that's a bit bad. She was actually the catalyst for it. Um, but, um, yeah, Spike and Drusilla. So we had a really, obviously we've seen them as a couple, um, but we had a real clear indication there what Drusilla means to Spike. As soon as she was threatened, he was immediately, everyone stop. And he did everything that Buffy said, backed off, um, you know, stopped feeding so interesting that that's a huge weakness for him um, and now Buffy knows it as well so that's something in her favor um, so we saw uh, Giles and Jenny go on a half date a proper date to monster trucks she does not know him <laughs> I've always wanted to see monster trucks um, so yeah that was interesting their story still develop him uh, and I said in the episode I really do think it was unfair of Angel to put Willow in the middle like that um, she's I know he said he would do it for the right reasons, and I know in the end we know it was the right reasons, but you can't tell me there wasn't a bit of jealousy involved and he was doing it a little bit out of jealousy. And that's the bit that was unfair to put Willow in the middle. Um, um, and obviously we saw Buffy upset by that, that you know, that's going to make it hard to trust them I know they did it for the right reasons I know Willow did it for the right reasons um, but from Buffy's point of view it's going to make it hard to trust well, at least take a while probably seven days for the next episode <laughs> um, so 
Yeah, all those um, vampire wannabes. It didn't look like anyone died. They all got, well, a few of them at least got bitten. So I'm assuming they don't become vampires, they just got a bit drained. And they all kind of left. So I don't know whether we'll see them in the future. Are they going to start up a new club, or was it a bit that they've been put off now? Um, seeing what the actual vampires are like, is that going to put them off it completely? Hope so. Hope so. Um, yeah, it was a really good episode. Re really liked this one. Probably one of the best ones of the season so far. Um, so yeah, let me know what you thought about this one in the comments below. And I shall see you for the next one. Be seeing you.